Uh, Intro, we... please, Maestro. Hi, I'm Fan from Ikuruskan, and you're watching the Monday Club. It's Monday, it's 7 p.m., and the Bronx are on parade. It's time for the Monday Club. Featuring your host, Jennifer Kirk, with the help of the Covered Monkey, and your host with the Toast Top Tea Toaster, and a wizard called Gandalf. Featuring the sounds of the Glass Awake Symphony Orchestra, and the musical stylings of Gordon, the music maestro. Let's get ready to loco! Ho, ho, ho! Ooh. Hello, and welcome to WWC Next. We are an award winning specialist and manufacturer for miniature scenery modeling. We are proud to have produced one of the best selling Prograss micro applicators and we've refined our quality products and systems with both beginners and expert modelers in mind. We supply and manufacture everything you may need from static glass applicators, static glass tufts, handcrafted MDF and hand poured resin products, all designed and curated in house with you, the modeler in mind. You can find us at www.scenics.com or in store at Unit 6, Buford Court, Plasmal, Swansea. A big hello to you. So great to see you and I hope I find you well. It is me, Jenny Cook. Here at Weir Yard, ready for the Monday Club, as always, the host with the toast, Topsy Toaster, is getting very excited because he knows it's time for the Monday Club. And of course, in the corner there, over there somewhere, there's some kind of... I thought I'd go and make coffees. Yes. I'll be back. Yes. Topsy says that just pour it into his vents. <laughs> so we've got Zantech, Richard Swiderski, Farmer Channel 1, Whamgot, Peter Jackson, Cheadle Heath, Smallwood Junction, Hamish Shackleton, Simon Trains, Mother Railway Showca uh, Showcase, Nigel Cole, AD Pullen, DCC Locomotive James, 156 Andrew, Malcolm Moore, Mass Hall Rail, David Scott, Delft Junction, Patrick Ling, Harry Sedgwick, uh, Gary, Simon Trains, Mother Railway Showcase, Ruben Ashall, uh, 3B Rail, Iron Horse Railways, Trumpeton Junction, um, Wam Gok, Richard Noel, Madden Steam Rails, Peter Leyland, 156 Andrew, Jennifer Horton, George, uh, Andy 81E, Stefan Svensson, Clive N. Gage, uh, and it's great to see all of you guys. Now, tonight we're going to be talking about Rapido. Some amazing announcements last Friday, not one, not two, not three, but four. And coupled with that, we also had a couple of exclusives based on these new announcements. Uh, the J52, there's also going to be a National Railway Museum locomotion models version of the preserved example of the J52. And that's going to be in Great Northern Railway Green, but with the identity and the detail variances of that preserved example. And then Rails of Sheffield have also announced one in the um, quite unusual a Doncaster Works livery as well. So two special commissions to add to, I think it's about eight different main range versions. Now the 01 as well, so much requested. It's, it's actually, it's quite a surprise that it's not been um, uh, uh, mentioned before, or should I say, not been tackled before by a ready-to-run manufacturer. Uh, the 01 has been one of those really much requested models ever since the C-Class was announced by Batman. It's a long time ago now. Then we had the D-Class, the H-Class, the D-1-Class, the P-Class. People kept every time saying, what about the 01? With a preserved example at the Bluebell Railway, it has been an obvious candidate for a ready-to-run model for quite some time, and Rapido have now delivered that announcement. And the Port of Par Twins, Bill and Ben, certainly, really quite interesting to uh, see these really diminutive flying buffer beam style locomotives uh, coming in model form. Of course, we've had the uh, Thomas the Tank Engine versions, both from Hornby 
and I believe from Bankman, but these are very much cartoony. Certainly the uh, Hornby one just utilised their uh, 040 generic chassis and were massively oversized. And the Bankman ones are very toy-like to match up with the range. So we now have an absolutely perfect model announced. And then we've also got a rerun of the Sterling Single. Um, this has been a very popular model. And um, certainly it was done before as a special commission by the Railway Museum. And um, this has now been announced for a proper production run. They've been changing hands for silly money. I've seen them up to about £600 on things like um, uh, eBay. So I think it's about time that this turns up. This is going to have a new, um, an absolutely new... Um, I've lost my train of thought. Sorry, I got distracting. Um, Peter Jackson Cheadle Heath says it's Jenny turning to modern image models now. A little bit. There are reasons. Um, no, um, I was. Oh no, I nearly got my thread back. Um, oh, that was it. New tender. Absolutely new tender. Peter Joy says hi everyone. I've got to leave at seven fifteen to pick up my lad. So sorry, I'll be leaving early. Don't worry about it. You can also pick up on the rewind and uh, uh, be able to uh, watch any of the bits you missed. Wardle Restoration says, Evening Jenny and all, it's me but with an updated name. We've got CP Model Railway, Peter Joyce, um, Timothy Kynard, Hannings Mo uh, Rest Model Railway, um, Secret Anorak, James Hardy, A.B. Paul and GNR, GNR Sterling Single is a fantastic model. Absolutely. Bo Minnick says, yep, just killed the Sterling Singles second-hand market. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, it does worry me that you get people who who will um, buy up um, models and then whinge when another production run gets announced because they wanted them to maintain exclusivity and high prices. And it, that's not what this hobby is about. So I, for one... I'm actually really glad that they're doing another run of the Sterling Single. It's the only way that uh, the likes of me are actually ever going to have one. Um, Delft Junction says, what would you pay for a Daypole 52, Jenny? I'm not sure what they're going for these days. I'm a bit out of the loop. Uh, Bluegrass Rail fan, big hello to you. Uh, Jerry BVR says, I'll be in lurker mode. Too much hassle to follow chat. Um, okay. Um, go for it painting. Big hello to you. B2000R Toys Channel. Hi Jenny and Zoe. This weekend I've been rebuilding my kit bash to Hornby Daisy with a new Hornby Railroad Power Bogey and set of and pickups. Nick Garolamo says hello. What have I missed? Well you bit of Miss Gandalf. He's downstairs looking for biscuits. Um, but we're just starting talking a little bit about the Rapido announcements. Um, and um, you know we are... Um, I don't, we, we're going a little bit uh, modern image. Now, you may have seen the Scott Rail Class 153 is on um, the ABC shuttle. I've got that set up. It's actually one of those perfect things for a small layout. This is from the autumn sale event at TMC, the model centre. Um, and it is a subject of a future review. I've just filmed a review on the Class 150. You saw the Class 67 go out. I have been hitting the uh, TMC Autumn Bargain Sale quite ha um, quite um, uh, heavily, so uh, you will be seeing some stuff going on. But yeah, Zantec, that is the 153 Highland Explorer Cycle Coach, and I have to say, it's one of my favourite liveries. It shows just what you can do with UV printing. Um, so I think they did three different ones, um, so three different running numbers. Um, to mimic some of the ones that were being used by Scott Rail, but it is great and um, and the reason that I've been quite keen to get one of these is not because of a sudden love for um, modern image, but because I wanted to see whether the livery looked as good as in the mock-ups and I would say yes it does. There's a superb livery um, and uh, it just shows what can be achieved. I mean imagine a livery like that, even five or ten years ago, it would have just been like you'd have been scoffed at. Uh, DCC Locomotive James says, have you seen the new model railway centre parks? They are nice but quite expensive. I have not seen them. 
A new junction has come without the chant. And uh, great to see you are updating quite a lot more regularly at the moment on YouTube. The new layout build at New Junction is going very, very well. And doesn't a bit of grass transform things? And what could be better than me recommending tonight's sponsor, War World Scenic. If you see grass on my model railways, any of my model railway builds, you are seeing War World Scenic's products. So certainly a great way to transform your model railway. Right. Um, yeah, I'm just name checking the sponsor. There's a monkey of madness down there. Uh, Hanning's Rest Model Railway says, if I hadn't bought so much this month, I'd be seriously looking at the TMC sale. I'll be honest, my top picks are that Jubilee in the kind of lime green colour. I can't remember what it's called. Is it Madras or something like that? Um, but certainly um, that is one which really did catch my eye. Uh, but do hurry. I've been told they're selling so well um, that um, they're in danger of actually selling out. And for those N-Gage modellers, you may be thinking, oh, nothing in it for me. There is. Yeah, there is. Um, so this too is from the TMC Autumn Sale. There will be a video on it. This is the flying, uh, the flying bin men, or the flying dustman even. Um, and this is a class 66 7 in Biffa uh, red and orange livery. Um, so yeah, loads and loads of stuff. Okay. Uh, but, right, anyway. So now that I've done the... Uh, the monkey of madness is here. Now that I've made the coffees that we so desperately need today, we're both very tired. Um, I'd like to apologise to everyone for the stream beginning the moment I pressed the go live button on OBS. Uh-huh. Rather because than with the countdown. Connected. So what did they hear? <laughs> they heard you going, uh... And then me, me saying very loudly, play the intro, maestro. And then the intro started. <laughs> oh, good. So none of our band, like, bad language came through. No, the, the bit where you told me that uh, <laughs> that, uh, that I was a very annoying person in uh, no uncertain terms. Yeah, I told you to go forth and reproduce. <laughs> yes, that didn't come through. However, mm. Jen. Zoe. Jen. Yes, Zoe. Shall we have a look? Yes, it's a we sterling should. single. Yes. So we have been furnished from Rapido with some really high quality pictures. So we that need to there. go um, small screen. Yeah. So on on your uh, screen, <laughs> you should now be seeing um, one of the, um, the the sterling single pictures. Now this shows we've got an all new tender. Um, and yes, New Junction, I would love to go and visit it. It's, it's actually near where my grandparents used to live. Um, but it is a bit of a trek. But I will be looking to go there at some point. But anyway, so we've got... Um, I believe that's probably the last run Sterling single there for the locomotive. And the big thing about this is it's being offered with a different style tender. So um, it is going to be a little bit different from last time. Uh, but I am really looking forward to... Would you like to, to see the tender in more close-up? Beep, beep. Yeah, but um, actually, I mean, I just want to enjoy that locomotive. Look at that locomotive. What's not to like? It's um, a locomotive penny farthing. Yes. Yes, yes it is, Iron Horse. I, I like that idea. Iron Horse Railways, I like that nickname. We should call it the penny farthing. Uh, the penny farthing loco. But yeah, it's beautiful loco. Um, and yeah, Zantec, I think um, the only thing that really made these locomotives viable was um, steam sanding gear um, to get the grip. Because I can imagine if this thing got in a wheel skid, um, then it would, um, you know, uh, you can imagine opening the throttle wide and that thing just breaking loose. Um, sparks would literally fly. Um, Dion Wollaston, big hello to you. Great to see you. James Hardy and Ben as well says, wow, that looks fantastic. It really Absolutely. does. Absolutely. And we're very, very lucky that we've been given access to high-res photos from Rapido. So strap in. It's going to be uh, a really impressive look at the uh, Rapido announcements from last Friday. So um, I'm going to go back to the layout. Uh, in fact, actually, we've already had that angle of the dangle. Let's give people an opportunity to um, to um, just check that. The, yeah, there we go. An opportunity to just mm. check. Okay. 
Uh, Bo Minix says, just wait, Jenny. It runs great. Mine does. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I missed out um, on the uh, Sterling single the last time. So I'm one of those people who is very glad that Rapido is offering another run of these um, because they've been changing hands for like £600. And 600 <laughs> squidly diddlies, that's a pretty good big yeah. number. Um, mm. And yes, Jennifer Horton says, it's just beautiful. Look at how all those curves blend together. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Martin Parkinson says, penny farthing or penny farting Iron Horse Railway. <laughs> Um, and yes, Manistee Railways, I think it will be available with DCC Sound. I think it certainly was last time. Uh, Andy81E says, nice choppers above your head. Oh, are they visible? Yeah, so there's like my collection of um, 00 Class 20s. One, two, three. There's five up there. I, think. I didn't know that. Oh, of course it is, because the outer time is always in the frame. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, there's, there's shelves with stuff on all over up here. And um, whilst I have a moment, actually, I would like to thank Krista Duke, who um, very, very kindly, unbeknownst to me, he sent us a um, a, 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 a parcel. No, uh, Tim Krinsky. Sorry, Tim Krinsky. My goodness, Jen, I know you're asleep, but wake up. Grab right. some coffee. Tim Krinsky, thank you so much. Tim Krinsky. Sorry, uh, um... She gets there in. I get names mixed up. It takes me years to remember people's names. But um, Tim Krinsky, uh, thank you so much. Posted these from Houston, Texas, actually. So tell people where he is. It's not like that. It's it's like it's not like there's one person in Houston, Texas. There There might be. And there's one little house and like and um, Tim Krinsky in there going, who are all these people putting handprints on my window? That would be Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you'll be seeing an A4 going round. This is Kingfisher, and this has come courtesy of Tim Krinsky, but not all. In the same box, Tim Krinsky also sent the Cupboard Monkey of Madness, a Gronk. This is um, limited edition, a Collector's Club exclusive, a Europort Harry Needle Rail number four. Um, although it's got GB Rail for it, this is Molly. Um, that's quite a recent release. And the other one they sent is the London Transport 20227. You completely reminded me talking about choppers. Mm. So thank you so much. And that much. one is Sherlock Holmes, mm. and it's very nice. Thank you. So thank you so much. Absolutely. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I, don't know, I don't know whether Tim may be watching on catch-up. So greetings from the past. Thank you so much. It arrived today, and we were like... Did you order something? No, no, did you? And it's when we saw it, it's like, oh. So thank you so much for your generosity. No, I already knew it was coming. I just oh, hadn't told you to maintain the surprise. Mm, it was a surprise. And thank you so much. You yeah. know how much I love my A4s. Yes. I'm up to, that means I've got 22 of them. Um, so only 12 more. Um, technically 13 if you include the one that got blown up. Um, and probably more than that if you include all the other names. But I'm... Um, but so you're still on the hunt. But certainly BR liveried ones, 34. But thank you so much. <laughs> Norskate Models and Customs says Molly, named after his dog. W- why not? Um, uh, it could have been worse. It could have been named after his cat. For all we know, his cat is called Chairman Meow. Perfect name for a cat. Somebody call their cat that. Yeah, Warbler Productions, TARDIS at far end of Shuffle Track Girder Bridge. Yeah, I tried a new location. What, why am I full screen? Because you were showing off the stuffs. Oh, okay. Right, anyway, shall we... Returnify to, to the thingamajigs. Um, yeah, this working the... towards the 100% bluegrass rail fan. And <laughs> Alan Reynolds, PDA J-Cloth, Alan Reynolds. Um, absolutely great to see you. Hope you're well. There's a degree of lateness being exhibited by a few people. A Monday clubber is never late, Total Wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Hello, Thanks, Gandalf. Topsy. <laughs> Topsy is getting very excited <laughs> because we're about to show. Oh, you're spilling my coffee. <laughs> because we're about to show. The Twiddly's Brown and Nobat, yeah. Right. The um, J52s. So, um, let's move over. We have got more high quality pictures. So that's like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 
that's a lot of different livery options. Um, so, next slide, please. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> um, these are just um, CG renders of the livery. So, livery renders. There we are. We got, we got there in the end. Um, this is the Great Northern Railway version. Now, as I said before, uh, the um, Locomotion Models National <laughs> Railway Museum is doing the... Um, um, is doing the uh, preserved examples. So J52 is quite an old locomotive. They're from like the 1880s. Um, one of the oldest um, locomotives left running on British railways back in the 50s and, um, and very long lived. There has been a rather lacklustre model. I'm, I'm sorry, Hornby, looking at you. Rather lacklustre model of a J52. It's been available since, I think, the 1970s, but it's very firmly in the railroad camp. So we've never had a proper full fat job. And, um, oh, right. Um, Naive Gage says, your toaster is causing the focus to be lost from your face. I'll just, I'll just, there we go. So, so I'm over here, just like... There we go. So hopefully I will be uh, back in focus. I love the way, like, where else could you have your toaster is causing the focus to be lost from your face? I love that. Did I just get dinged? Did somebody... Oh, no. Actually, that's a good point. I need pa power. My phone is sat there going, feed me. <coughs> <coughs> I shouldn't do that voice. No, you shouldn't. Um... Um, <laughs> we called our cat cooking fat. Yeah, well, so that's what it sounded like. <laughs> 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 boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, I see. I like this grey, the Great Northern Railway grey. <laughs> that for me, I, I don't know whether it's a livery render thing, but I really do like this. Um, but um, yeah, the J fifty two really long lasting. Um, outlasted. Um, quite a few locomotives that were built after it. Um, apparently the toaster is still stealing the limelight. Um, it's yeah. because we put eyes on it. <laughs> but definitely, that's my top pick, actually. I think that really shows the model off well. Next slide, please, when you're, you're ready. Um, then we're going to get um, L-N-E-R. Now, what I will say to you is keep your eye on some of the details, like the top of the funnel, the safety valves and whistles. These do change between some and of these so different locomotives. And so the hand, uh, bars on the side. I was going to say handlebars. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so there are a lot of detail differences. Um, 156 Andrew says, Jenny, can you do a Glaswegian voice? <laughs> it's not bad, Rob. See you. See ye. I'll see you later. I could do a lot of sweary Glaswegian, but uh, no. Mm. You spilled my pint. Yeah. Pint spiller. Um, right. Um, hello, Skipsy Trains, Hot Dog Pilot, Andy. Great to see you. Ivo Van Zon says, looks like photographic. Um, pho photograph fear and strick. Also known as photographic grey. So, right, if you go between those two, what... I can see what's the changing. buffers are changing. Yeah, so look, if you look at the front of those buffers, they're changing. Yeah. Right, next slide. And that, look at the bunker. Yeah. So we've got... Oh, actually, is that... It's hard to tell on some of these, but definitely, there's a lot the of detail differences. The definitely changed. Um, and there's a different set of whistles. Yeah. Uh, Leslie Gilpin Railway says, are these CGI or photos the real models? These are CAD models. Hmm. They're livery renders, so they're done in a... Um, would that be Photoshop or something else? Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're computer generated. <laughs> but at the end of these photos, you will get to see where the model is actually up to. Okay. David Scott says, ships have funnels, steam locos have chimneys. We have this argument almost every week. So, I'm going to say, we all agree to disagree, otherwise I'm going to start calling them a toot snoot. Well, the thing is, though, there's that, that um, railway series book where Percy gets the fat controller's trousers wrapped around his, his um, around chimney. Around his toot snoot. No, but it's around his funnel, keeping his funnel warm. Um, so They can't see the buffers because they're behind us. Okay. Oh, ah. Right. Well, in that case, let me see. 
Right. Um, are you going to have to... If I zoom in really far... Extreme close-up! And I you can see them there. I don't know. Would you want to check and make sure I'm not in, in shot? Uh, no. Because <laughs> I can't. Ah. Um, okay, well, anyway... Um, Everyone else has now sent smoke stuff. Now, <laughs> I'm telling you... Boo, I'm there's lots of different acceptable I'm telling words. you now, if we start going through this... I am going to get them called a toot snoot, and right. you're all going to cry. Yeah, look, right, Zoe, anyway, <laughs> shut up, because right on track says the 3D prints of the engines are actually made by Model U. Um, so, yeah, I was getting... Oh, also... there we go. There's the, there's the toot snoot. Yeah, there's the change in the toot snoot. And actually, go back between the other two. I think the um, smoke box dart changes. Oh, no. It's just the buffers. You'll have to take our word for that. Anyway. Right, anyway, look, stop yeah, messing about. Changing. Stop messing about. Let's get through these. I want to see the so BR many ones. changes. Next slide. Um, so there's a early British BR. early BR. Um, I quite like that one. Next slide, please. Um, Oops. No, you don't. Oh, want... now we can compare. I oh, don't want to do that. Intro, <laughs> but we don't want to do that. Right, next slide, please. Um, now, this is an interesting one. Because the... Uh, the funnel changes. The funnel changes and... The placement of the uh, little uh, logo changes. Yeah, anyway, next slide, please. So, um, then we've got... Um, that's a departmental one. There's a fair few changes on the bottom. With uh, the, uh, is, that, is that actually the one? Mm. That's changing as well. The uh, Yeah, some of the steps are changing. Right, next slide. That that one's got a certain name on the back. What's it? Oh, sorry. Got a name on the back. It says departmental, departmental. locomotive. So um, I know that um, uh, Rails of Sheffield have announced they're doing the Doncaster Locomotive Works departmental locomotive um, as a special commission. I uh, do love this, the way that the uh, lines are going around. Oh, Warbler says Toot Snoot should be the name nickname for the whistle. The chimney would be the puffer tube. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when we do Larry the Locomotive. Then that's what we're gonna do. Yes. Like, <laughs> YouTube's not allowing any naked buffers. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but this is not the only livery. It's not just coming out in black. Mm. It can be any colour as long as it's black. But it's also in green. Um, actually, no, that's the first one, but from a different angle. Oh, yes, it is. So th there we are. Right, and last one, please. Last slide. That yes. Next slide, please. Right, these beep, are the 3D beep. prints. So, hello, Angel of Crew. Great to see you, and I hope I find you well. Long time no see. Um, <laughs> 1968 Concord. If we call it a toot snoot, the toilet must be the dung trumpet. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes, that, that's it. That, that's the new names. But surely, like, if you, if you, if you do wonder which, which side is which... You've got your um, your stink trumpet and your please hump it. No, <laughs> no, children watch this. Yeah. They're not supposed to. It is made for adults. Can I just say, if you don't understand, ask your mum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Um, so these look really nice. These and are... these are showing off all the differences as well. Look yeah. at the, the yeah. casing there. So, I mean, that's one of the things as well. The 3D prints will incorporate Oof. all the different. So that's the stove pipe. Yeah. Um, version. Um, and these are done by Model U. There you go. So really, really nice. So there we go. Um, I'm going back to the really main nice. Dubatron. Just check that camera. I has come will up. check it. Um, so yeah, welcome back, Rachel. It's great to see you. And um, hey, welcome I, back. I hope you are doing well because we we have been been worried about you. Um, so, really good to see you. Partick Hill Station, good evening, one and all from Toronto. Um, 3B Rail um, uh, it says, uh, Angela Crew says, Hi all, thank you for the hellos and support, much appreciated. But that's what we're all about here. We're about the community, yeah. and helping people, and making sure everybody is all right. Yeah, everyone is welcome here. If you're not causing trouble, you're welcome. If you mm. are causing trouble, stop it, and then you'll be welcome. <laughs> Right, um, so Southern Train Girl as well, great to see you too. Ron B, go for it painting. We've got a lot of um, a lot of people in. SHGP Media says if model you offer them as a static 3D print, I'd buy one. Mm. Uh, they wouldn't be able to. Um, uh, what a lot of companies, if not all of the companies, <laughs> do is when they've got the CAD file, 
they'll order up a 3D print from that CAD file. And this is so that they can kind of see it and visualize it in 3D. But yes, it's not something that they would sell. Sometimes um, it's not until you're holding it that yeah. you see something. Yeah. Jenny, mm -hmm. those weren't the only things though, were they? No, we're, we're going through these at a heck of a rate of knots. Well, um, we have to. And as we, uh, TARDIS hiding behind open wagons, says Richard yes. Swinowski. Yes, <laughs> well spotted. Well spotted there, Batman. Mm. So the next one is the one that was in our uh, thumbnail tonight. Absolutely. So, of course, the, um, the um, SECR 01 class is a locomotive that keeps getting requested. And apparently, I'm not allowed to call it the OI. Because that, that's what I, I wrote it as first. The OI. Yeah, <laughs> the OI class. Yeah, the OI. <laughs> but it's, it's been a heavily requested one for a long, long time. So we're going to now turn to the high quality um, laser display screen. Well, the high quality pictures that Rapido have very kindly yeah, um, let us use. Yes. So this is, um, and again, loads of different versions here. So I've seen two, four, six, eight, it's eleven. Ten. Eleven different versions listed there. I'm not aware of any special commissions, but I, I stand to be um, corrected. I love so, that like, this one must be the special one because it's like boom. No, I don't know. I think they just <laughs> have, just, they just have an odd number. I don't know. So um, let's have a look at this. Beep, beep. Yeah, so this is number 65. I can't remember what the uh, number of... <laughs> uh, Evo Van Zon says Oi class some pol equals some Polish locomotive. <laughs> um, but um, this livery proved really popular when the C class came out in it. So, mm. um, preserved example at the Bluebell Railway. And it's been requested year after year. I am actually surprised Ooh. that it's taken till now. Look at all that uh, backhead detail oh, yeah. as well. Very, and very because nice. it's got an open cab, you get to enjoy all of this. Yeah, you get to actually um, see it. Not great for the crew in bad weather. You can imagine in winter it was probably <laughs> a bit harsh, especially if the wind was blowing from behind. Nowhere to shelter. Um, but from a model perspective, that really does work great. Yeah. Um, the tender frames are very, very eye-catching. It's got these heavy, chunky yeah, that's a chunk outside MMK. frames with the springs up there on the running board. <laughs> so next slide, please. Um, so this is um, a slight... Uh, just go back, actually. I'm just trying to... I think it's the same one. Might be the same one. We're getting all the different angles. And next slide... Actually, go back one second. Look at the detail underneath. Yeah, um, I'm interested That's a wealth to see. Of detail. Um, I don't know whether we've got 3D prints of these um, in in our our access all areas folder, but um, certainly this one does look really special. Nigel Cole says, "Love the S E and C R livery." I have a number of locos in that. You and me both, actually. Um, one of my favourites. But I actually really like the grey one. So we're going to go next slide. This is the wartime grey Southeastern and Chatham Railway livery. And I found myself getting quite a few locomotives in this. So my D class is in this livery, but with the scraped beading. Um, I've got the P class. In fact, my review on the P class caused it to sell out, be the first P class to sell out. Um, well, that's the Kirk effect. Yeah. Um, they did three versions in the SECR livery but only one in the photographic grain, and, and that was the one that then sold out very quickly. Um, I never did get the Southeastern and Chatham um, ornate livery version, and I think that Hattons have announced another run, um, so I will be looking out for that, but I, I just really like that grey. Then we've got the early Southern Railway This black. one really took my interest. It does, actually. That green lining yes. really works well on the black. Yeah surprisingly well i wouldn't mm. have thought a uh, a burnt mint would look right but apparently it does mm. um ah yeah warbler productions confirms jen secr number 65 is the preserved example at the bluebell so thank you for that um 1968 concord says is there not much left to be modeled now it must be close believe how me, many it days isn't... are there right <laughs> The J classes, there are some gaps, um, I think, uh, between J5, um, oh, is it J, J40, 
Oh, is it J39? There's a bit of a gap in the middle. I but it goes right. up to <laughs> J94. And of those, not quite 94, because there are gaps, the J11 has been done. So where are the first 10? J1 to 10 has not been done. J15 has been done. 12, 13 and 14 haven't. We then move on to... Um, I can never remember if J17 has been done or not. I don't think it has. But then we're up to J27, albeit we do have an announced J26. Um, and then we've got the J36. The J39 is an tired old model. It's in, in line for replacement at some point. We've then got the J50. Um, we've got the J52 now announced. Um, we've got... Um, 67, 68, and 69 coming from uh, Repeater. And look, you see there's huge gaps here. Then we've got um, J70, the Toby the Tram type loco. J72, where's the J71 and the J73? Um, and it goes all the way up. There's sort of a model of a J83, but it, again, it's an oldie worldy railroady one. And then you've got the J94. There's so many different J, and that's just the J classes from the LNER. So there are huge numbers still to do. You know, a Beams 084, um, a Robinson S1. These are all locomotives I would love to see in model form. Tony Northeastern, big hello to you. Great to see you. Blackwood, um, the Growl, the Blackwood Engage layout as well. Uh, Madden Steam Railway says, I think you're thinking of the J12. Um, J12 has never been offered uh, ready to run as far as I know. Um, J. Paul Anderson says, I have a kit-built J21. Now, there, the J21 is one that I'm surprised that nobody has announced. Um, right, anyway, um, probably so as well to say, one? don't forget to tickle the like button if you haven't already done so, and share the stream to social media, and do please consider subscribing to the channel and ringing that bell to be the first to know about the new videos that you have chosen to watch when they come up. Someone did, but I can't find it now, said that uh, steam, uh, steam rail cars haven't been produced ready to run. Yeah. Brake coach, yeah, I'm, I meant a cure scale. I, I, it's, I've, got, I've got Rapido on the brain for some reason. Um, Ellen Y Locos, Peter Jackson Cheadle, he says, yes, the only Lancashire and Yorkshire Locos we've got is the Aspinall Radial 242. And the, um, the uh, is it the Class 21 Pug? The XL and Y Pug. And you think how many others there were. Um, there were some quite quite uh, big jobs. There was a, an 080 Freight Loco. That, was it the Hughes Freight Loco that lasted all big the way? Big jobs always make to, me chuckle. Um, one example lasted to about 1951. Um, there's the Class 27060. <laughs> Loads and loads of these different locomotives, some of which are preserved as well. But hey, right. So this is the um, um, Southern. Next slide, please. Uh, and um, I quite like that. It, it's very plain, but a lot of people do. Oh, like... there is a change in the Southern one. Yeah, it's the livery. No, there's uh, air pipes as well. Yeah, I think some um, have Westinghouse uh, air pipes. Yeah, John JMC, our guru of sound. Great to see you. Hope you are well. Um, and yeah, Bo Minnick says, I'd like to see more types of singles, not just the Sterlings. Absolutely, I'd like to see a Dean single or an Achilles class to very high spec. Um, Caledonian single to a high spec as well. But also some of the X classes, like Air this Aerolite. Is, this is the one that caused me some issues. Why? Right. You see how we've got nice, uh, really plain and simple to read uh, numbers and lettering there on the Southern? Mm. Well, on our next slide, it looks a little out of, uh, out of focus. I like the green drop shadow. And that's because of this, the green drop shadow. I like it. Stop moaning. Southern, what were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> it just looks so weird. Um, ben Tullett says the Ellen White Pug deserves an update and a detailed version of the Caledonian Pug would also be great to see. <laughs> yeah, the Caledonian Pug um, was um, very similar to the um, uh, LNER's Y9s, I think. And I believe a Y9 does 
actually still exist. They were built by Nielsen, so they were kind of an off-the-peg design. Jim, um, what is that? East Kent Railway. Now, I believe, now I could be wrong, but I, um, is this how the 01, the, the Bluebell Railway, actually got preserved, that it, it lasted... It, it worked the um, East Kent Railway, which is like the... Um, uh, oh, is that the... Um, East Kent and Sussex or something. Um, so it, it basically lasted um, quite a while. Um, yeah, Furnace lo Railway Locomotives we need, says James Hardy. Absolutely. British oh, Railways, you did it as well. <laughs> well, no, the workshops continued churning them out in the same style that they'd been used to. So the sunshine lettering Why are you doing... was what the Southern Railway were using. So think when... of the eyes. Think of my eyes, guys. Mm. I saw that and thought my eyes were out of focus. Right, <laughs> anyway, next sli slide, please. Boing! Very crisp. Oh, that's changed. Something's changed. Oh, no, it's not. It's uh, it's the... Um, yeah, don't mix... Yeah. It. yeah um, so, really, really nice. John Walter says, I love Blackpool. Actually, Blackpool's all right on a sunny day. Blackpool's decent. Great coaches. I wish they could do some more LNERB class Ooh. locos, especially something like the B13. Um, yeah, I, I actually like some of the Raven um, 460s. Oh, Jen. Look at the buffers. There's something going on on the back of the, on the front of the tender as well. Yes. So there's different styles, different livery samples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, these are going to be a thing of beauty. So, yeah, absolutely. And they did last well, because look, they are late. Yeah, crest. it's got a, this fence bit on the top. Um, that is like greedy boards. I think it's to stop the coal from falling down into the um, into the cab. So these are looking really nice. And then we've got the 3D print. So this is where we're actually up to. So Model U have produced the 3D prints from the cabs. And you can really see how nice these look. They're so detailed. And, and look at that tender. That's one of the real yeah. standout areas of this locomotive. With those heavy duty outside frames... <laughs> and the springs on the running board. Yeah. Everyone's disagreeing with me about the green drop shadow. <laughs> <coughs> it's nice to know I'm in the minority yet again. Absolutely. Yeah, Valley's 56XX greedy bars. I was always Ooh. I was always told that's what they call a greedy Look board. At the amount of detail um, in there. Normally Coke wagons have them because Coke's lighter than coal. So they can fill it higher to get the same weight. But mm. to do that, they've got to put greedy boards because you're getting greedy about what you're getting on the load. There's so much in there. Oh, this is this going to is be a lovely. thing of beauty. And actually, this is a really good advert for Model U prints as well. Yeah. And yes, James Hardy, we need an LBS CE2 Super Detail. Oh, I do like that. I do. I always like the um, the Will's Kits uh, underbridge. I've got a few of them over there. Um, <laughs> yeah, and you have. again, look at the grass with the different <laughs> textures. War World Scenics. Do check them out because that's how you get your grass to look like that. So uh, really, really nice. I love this. It's, it's turned round almost like said, "Hey, what did you say?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look. Is you looking at me? A big hello to J94. We've got a few late arrivals that seem to be passing Monday underneath. Monday trouble is never late, Toto Wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Thanks Gandalf. Gandalf. Right, check camera. And, check the uh, camera. Uh, yeah, so um, really, really um, um, impressed, actually, at um, these new announcements. Particle Station says, the question is, can the 3D print be motorised? I... I don't know, but it you, would depend on how the right. bottom with the wheels and everything were assembled. You've got to remember, that's not what they're for. Um, yeah. The 3D print is done for Rapido to check what the, the real fit, the three-dimensional model looks like and to identify areas that might need more work. It's not to be sold. You will not find that available to buy off the model use site. Um, so I, I, I think we're... We're barking up the wrong tree with that. You'd have to create your own CAD file to get it printed. Um, and it's just not um, viable. John Walter says Gandalf is very understanding. Um, well, yeah, he he's, a, he's a nice guy when you keep him filled with mm. cake and biscuits. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Stanover Model Railway, evening to you. Great to see you. And oh, and Topsy Toast is getting excited to uh, say hello to the newcomers. Um, DCC Locomotive James says, a J94 will be a nice forever rebuild because the old DJ ones are the only ones with a DCC socket and it's not nice to hardwire into them because of the weight. Um, I actually, I, I must do a video at some point on hardwiring the older, um, the Hornby ones. I think they're a perfectly acceptable I would love model. to see if you could hardwire that Airfix one. Get that going round. I'll have to find it. It's under the bed in the back room. Ben Tuller asks, how are they getting on with the Metropolitan Number 1 model? Um, I believe it's coming along well. I think there was um, a, 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 a decorated EP doing the rounds. Yes, Rick Morley, um, the TARDIS is behind that flat wagon. Um, Charlie Chimp says, yep, yeah, TARDIS by the Warwell and Brake fan. Jan? Yes? Do we have a sponsor today? We do. It's War World Scenic. Sarah Davis says, 3D prints can be motorised. Um, yeah, um, it, it would depend on how it was uh, produced. What I'm actually trying to get at is, let's, have, let's go for that angle, we haven't had that angle. Um, what I'm trying to get at is that these aren't 3D prints produced for that purpose. Yeah. The ones that um, uh, the, uh, Rapido have got are purely for internal checking purposes. CP Model Railway says if it panel had been greedy bars, then the extra height would be needed on all sides. That is I, think I think it's, it's just to stop them from falling. Yeah, on, I think on it's not the... greedy bars. I think it's literally a fence to like stop a the safety. Uh, yeah, to stop the call hitting the back safety. of the head of the driver. Mm. Right. So what have we got up next? So we have um, oh, Bill and Ben, the flower pot men. A big hello to Mummy and Daddy dearest. Um, in fact, it reminds me, my dad rang me up specifically to say that he was fed up of seeing that blue Fordson. So, um, i tell you what. Well, listen. Yeah, swap it out for that. There you are. See, Dad, I listened to you. <laughs> Where have you just... Oh, there it is. Right. He can park in the station car park. <laughs> right. Are you happy now? Are you? Are it's, you? <laughs> it's Gene Hunt. He's firing up his Cortina. Oh, is it? No, that's a Ford console. Oh. Um, that's not actually Gene Hunt's Cortina. That's elsewhere. Um, right. So Sarah Davis to... says, true, but they've designed the 3D prints to be mounted. So these ones should, but they won't be for sale. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, Bo Minix says, between Rapido North American and Rapido UK, want so much <laughs> of my money. Yeah, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Right. Yeah, it's so, been a bit hard to, to be a model railway, isn't it? Next set of slides, Next please. slide, please. Mm. So, Bill and Ben, Bill and Ben, Bill so and Ben. So, Bill and Ben, Ford actually Man. Alfred and Judy. Um, but these <laughs> were the inspiration behind Bill and Ben and Thomas the Tank Engine. And whilst they have been offered as a massively oversized, almost on the verge of being 016.5 models, when Hornby had the franchise for Thomas the Tank Engine, they used their standard pocket rocket chassis. Um, uh, less that can be said, the better. <laughs> uh, Bankman did do in their Thomas the Tank Engine range much better dimensioned ones, um, but they were very toy-like. They were intended for the kind of toy market. Peter Jackson asks, is that the Sweeney's motor? Ford console. I don't know. I never watched the Sweeney. <laughs> Apparently it's Jack Reagan's <laughs> car, said <so> Steve Ball. <laughs> um, is right. that Onslaught's car from Keeping Up Appearances? No, that was a Cortina Mark V. Ah, right. Stanover Model <laughs> Railway. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the Rapido SECR Class 01 as well as the E1. I haven't got a clue how I'm going to afford them both, though, when they both eventually come out. Um, yeah, I think a few people will be... Uh, Visiting OnlyFans yeah. to set up an account. No, ring, <laughs> ringing up certain people. Uh, so, uh, uh, kidneys, yeah? I've got two. Only really need one. Um, how much can you give me for the other? Please note, we do not uh, endorse this. No, we do not. Because um, it probably really hurts. Um, <laughs> interesting enough, um, I did find out, actually... Onslow's Ford Cortina Mark V has unfortunately been scrapped wow. um, comparatively recently, Aww. but I believe it was in very poor condition and was probably broken up for parts. Um, but ju <coughs> just putting that out there. Anyway, so this is the Judy and Alfred work till the end of steam at the Port of Par, 
the reason they're such a weird design, these, the, the, the um, yeah, like the cupboard that. doors on the cabs, really nice. <laughs> um, there was an eight foot height bridge, that it, um, the rail line, they had to get underneath the main line to get to the other side. It's and, a sawn off shunter. Yeah, well, their nickname was actually Flying Buffer Beam. Um, so they were built by Bagnall, I believe. Um, and they built one, then t'other. Um, and um, very distinctive locomotives, both now preserved. Um, but really, it was that eight foot um, dive under that they needed to be able to get under. If you ever see them hooked up to Mark 1 stock on preserved lines, they look really quite silly because they're about half the height. Um, but they're actually about the height of the wagons they were pulling. Um, and that was the whole point. The wagons could just get under the bridge, so the locomotives needed to, too. So, really, really... <laughs> These, uh, can I just say, <laughs> the tension lock couplings look as big as the frickin' railway. <laughs> what it actually shows is just how small yeah, these, local, these models are. So, um, yeah, Bo Minnick says, I'm Obla, time to start selling plasma. <laughs> we, we can't, for, for legal and tax purposes, we cannot endorse that, but it might be one way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but these are lovely. I do love those wooden doors on the camp. Yeah. And they've got the ones at the back as well. Um, it's just a really great look, actually. Um, Larry Rogers says, interesting bit of history on that odd looking loco. Yeah, there was another one um, up in the north of Wales. Uh, was it Mould? Um, nicknamed again Flying Buffer Beam at the, I think it was the um, Kurt, Kurtold's, uh plant. Um, so I'm just going to pull up my pronunciation because my brain went, oh, I can show you how it's spelled, but I'm not going to tell you how it's pronounced. Jennifer Horton says, no, the Flying Buffer Beam was a packet now at Clinton Road, Buckingham Railway Centre, that was even smaller. Yeah, but I have heard Bill and Ben, a.k.a. Alfred and Judy, described as Flying Buffer Beams. Just just thought I'd put that, just putting that out there. So we've got them um, in different liveries. Yeah, Matt, Ooh. Matty says, roughly the same size as the Five Plank China Clay Hood. Absolutely. Uh, John Nutman, Mansbridge Park, says, Evening all and evening Zoe and Jenny. Still no club on Mondays till Wednesdays. Oh. Now, this, this is an interesting one. It's just blank. Yeah, I'm not sure whether um, these are... Aside from the, the plates. Hmm, I don't know whether these are liveries that they carried or whether they're offering them in more generic liveries mm. if people want to make use okay, of them. Okay, that is eye-catching. Or uh, eye gouging, however you want to say <laughs> it. I like it. Yeah, you don't see many yellow locos. Yeah, for um, a reason. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Nick Garolamo says, Sydney the cat is <gasps> oh chasing goodness. your cursor. Look at the size of that thing. Yeah, well, look at the... <laughs> can I just say, look at the five plank high bar at the back. Imagine <laughs> that with the bar down and, it, you know, you've got an oh idea. Oh my goodness. It shows just how small these are. <laughs> Someone took a shrink ray to a locomotive. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, Sarah Davis says, shouldn't they be Richard and Judy with Judy derailing every so often? <laughs> <sighs> oh, they are so yeah. small. Charlie Chimps says, they look like their own Palumpas <laughs> for the chocolate factory. So here we are. We've got um, um, Judy and Alfred. And that, that's next to the GWI. Is that the four plank or a five plank wagon? So it really gives a sense of just how small these are. And Bluegrass Rail Fan, yeah, we had this discussion as well before the show. So how does the crew ride in that thing? I think that being tall was not an option. Yeah. Oh, they just open the hoop mm. and stick their head out. <laughs> yeah, they, they I can do see have you a just standing there. I can't quite reach the controls, but I can see. I think there was a lot of sitting down. Um, Warbler Production says the yellow was carried by Alfred when oh, it was first restored goodness. to running order. So that's next to the 3D print, or it may even be an EP looking at the colour, of their... Is that... Was it a Y... I can't remember whether it's Y6 or... What, no, Y7 or Y8. Um, it's like it's taken its kid to school. <laughs> and it hasn't it's fully a bit like... Yet. I, I tell you what, though, actually, it would probably work with the Wisbeach and Upwell coaches because they look a bit on a bit malnourished as well. Um, these look amazing, actually. Um, I, really, I, look. I have to say, I love, I, lo I love them. They're just so cute. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, really, really impressed by this. Get on, next slide. And there look you are. That. Look at it next to that van. That's. This is how big these really were. So I think these are going to be an absolute smash hit. You need to get your orders in. Absolutely. Mm. So, um, yeah. Actually, that, that's a good point. Where is that one with the other train? Mm. Yeah, look at that. Look at the, where the cab flop, flop plate it, is. Yeah, I told compared you. Compared to that one. I told you. The whole thing is further down, not just the, the foot plate. The mm. entire locomotive is down, and the cab goes down even further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so there we go. Does the driver sit there? It does feel like that, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, and honey, I shrunk the railway locomotive, says Dave Holloway. Um, <laughs> Valley's 56 hectares. Who chugged a mile, loco? <laughs> They're actually from that point of par, port of par, which is, is it Cornwall? Uh, which is like other end of the country. Can't do a Cornish accent. And yes, Leslie Gilpin Railways, I would look tall against them. I am six foot one. They are eight feet from rail height, so I would be poking my head out of the sunroof. <laughs> um, so there we are. Right, so we have done, yes, we've done all four. So over to you guys. What do you guys think about these announcements from Rapida? Um, and uh, don't ask me on delivery dates. I have seen them. I have instantly forgotten them. Uh, but certainly... <laughs> don't get says driver sits in the wagon behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the poor fireman's back. I, I, think, I think, actually, it was probably a case that they favoured shorter crew. Yeah. Um, Matty says, don't forget if ordering through the Bodmin Railway website, all proceeds go towards the restoration of Alfred. Oh, so that's lovely. That's that's a great idea. Um, twenty twenty four um, is a, is a date that that um, sits in my head. So towards the end of twenty twenty four, um, for delivery, I'm going to say at Hannings Rest Model Railway says I would love to see them in T gauge. You'd need a magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> and Just yeah, get a grin and Breeze is, put it on the track. Yeah, there you go. Breeze is 707. So it makes the seagull look big. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and Don gets Muller always says, I think taller crew favoured transferring elsewhere. Hmm. Yeah, so, so, Mr. Smith, um, so wh why are you wanting to leave your current job? Because if I so, sneeze Because I'm six I'll foot five and I'm driving... Um, Alfred and Judy, and basically my head has to stick out of the sunroof come rain or shine, and I get a face full of smuts. <laughs> uh, Mike Lane TT120 says 10 out of 10 to Rapido. Yeah, Delft Junction, big hello to you. Warbler Production says I'll be ordering the Port of Park Bagnalls, one or two of the J52s and a Sterling Single, maybe even a Grey 01 class. Um, ben Davis says, Jennifer, I've already pre-ordered a Sterling a single, a uh, Sterling single, 1930, Port of Bagnall, so Port of Par, I think that's Bagnall, lined yellow, plus SECR, wartime grey, 01. What class per new train, Jennifer, do you like the most out of repeater? Um, my personal favourites, I, 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 I do actually quite like Alfred and Judy, those Port of Par Bagnalls, really, really interesting, but I think my, uh, what just edges it for me, maybe the J52, but the Sterling single really, really is great. Um, Breeze of 707 says, Is it just me? But when Jen leans forward, she looks like she's in Star Trek uniform. <laughs> oh, yes, I can imagine that. I could, I could see it. Yes. No, but I could see it. Uh, Zantac says, It'd be like putting James Bond Baddy Jaws in a Peel P50 or Smartford. <laughs> yeah, they sort of... Um, it's like when I have to drive, they have um, Land Rover Defender generator trucks um, on film sets. And when I drive them, I have to wind the window down and put my arm out because there's no room otherwise. Um, and uh, <laughs> to change gear, um, there can't be anybody sat next to me. Um, they're not <laughs> Bit well small, thought. are they? <laughs> I drove one to Bristol once. I got there and it was... It was like a clown getting out of a clown car. <laughs> this is like that guy that was on The Simpsons, <laughs> where he's trying to drive around with his knees against his ears. <laughs> Something like that. Alan Pollock says, good night. Good night to you. Take care. It's been great having you come. Thank you for coming along. Have a great night. Absolutely. 
And don't forget everybody, do check out Merch Store because we've got lots of great merch and it is in the run up to <laughs> Christmas and they make great <laughs> uh, gifts either for yourself or for somebody else. Do Absolutely. check out the hoodies, the t-shirts, the mugs. They're all there and they're all available right now. Speaking of hoodies, Jenny, where did my Gronk It Up hoodie go? Because you borrowed it one time and I've never seen it since. It, it'll be somewhere. Now, also, don't forget that my books are available. They're great for Secret Santas. They're the to... great. So do please buy them. I want rid of them. And... Uh, <laughs> Um, you can still order the Monday Club Wagon, the newest one, William Loudon Sons, in a lovely green wagon for the gramophone works. I haven't had an update on numbers, um, but they've been selling really, really well. I'm actually quite impressed, and I'm really humbled by the support that you guys have shown to this project. So um, do get your orders in. Um, if it's a must-have item for you, you must order it, because... They are selling quick. Uh, Northgate says, will you have any merch at Wally? Unfortunately, I don't think Jen's going to make it to Wally this year. As it stands at the moment, it doesn't look like I'm going to Wally. Uh, complicated reasons. Nothing bad. Um, it's just um, just cost um, as much as anything. Yeah, a few, um, we've had a few things come up here that mm -hmm. we have to do, and it means that... It's not can't. just that. Um, for about a month now, I've been working full-time on this youtube -y thing, and um, contrary to what people think, you, YouTubers don't get rich off what they earn from YouTube and from sponsorship and the like. Um, so we have to be really careful with what we spend. Yeah. Um, and uh, unfortunately, that that's where we're up to. Um, not just that, but... We got the choo-choo flu so bad from uh, still Gets recovering from that the we're still recovering flu. now, and we can't afford that. Yeah. Um, right on track says those three D prints are due to be at Warley if anybody wants to look up close. Absolutely. Nice. Um, and um, of course, I am available if any of the manufacturers wants a lovable YouTuber on their stand going, "Hello, hello, where am I? Who's this? Oh, that looks pretty." Um, then I am available. Jenny is available for events, yes. shows, weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, mitzvahs yeah. you name it. <laughs> yeah. Divorce parties, you name it. <laughs> so um, that's where we're up to. Anyway, what are we doing? Like, Blooming heck, it's past eight already. I know. So I hope you've enjoyed that delve into things. Um, we've got big hello to Anne Mayo. Great to see you. Hope you are well. Um, but yeah, um, so basically, oh, hold on. Before you do that, I want to change the... There for, we go. for those of you who are wondering what uh, before I do that means, I'm setting up for the uh, videos, and Jen wants me to not, so that she can see what, what button she's pressing. Right, now I've pressed the button. You may go back to setting up for showing some videos. Video. Um, video. Video. So, um... DCC Locomotive James says, any news on Mammoth Tis? Not sure. Uh, Railway Day says, how come you're not going with KR models? Because they didn't invite me. The, the, the thing the, with KR models is, uh, Jen, got, let, no. me, let me finish. Jen doesn't work for KR models, but she does occasionally fill in for them if one of their people can't I make help it to a out show. because I'm a nice person. And when they say, you wouldn't mind being on our stand to draw in mega crowds and also mean that Carl can go to the loo. Um, then I say yes, but um, at Warley, they have got um, all their Canadian team coming over, so they didn't need me. Um, and that's just how it is. That's how it is. But if any of the other manufacturers want a lovable YouTuber to sort of hang around and look dazed and confused, then I'm sure New Junction would um, wander over from a Cura scale and say <laughs> and hello to them. them. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, Jennifer Horton says, am I the only one getting cheesed off with the Hattons adverts on the YouTube several times a day? Does a Hattons advert? I haven't had I it I haven't yet. seen it. Yeah. I suppose it depends what you watch. Now, I watch loads of car videos, so I keep getting people trying to sell me a brand new car. Yeah, and you've been watching car videos and the news from America on what's going on with Trumpet, yeah. whereas uh, Trumpet. I watch gaming videos and toys. No, he's, he's Chumpet. Chumpet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Donnie Chumpet. <laughs> um, Mouse Hole Rails says, I'll be going to Wally, which I can't wait for it. Um... 
And thank you, Flymo Chairman One, for sharing that. And any news, Flymo Chairman One, on the Moderator of the Year awards? Um, we mentioned it a couple of weeks oh, ago. Oh yeah. Um, so do post a link where people can go and vote for Flymo Chairman One, who is always here, always on the job, doing moderation mm. on all of our live streams. Um, uh, Ruben Ashwell says, I'll be at Wally on the Saturday. I'm glad the trains aren't on strike on that day. Don't tempt them. Um, and David Scott says, look out for Scotty's mates at Wally. Hi, I'm Scotty. Scotty's asleep downstairs. Is he? Yeah. I don't oh. know why I'm doing it in a Scottish accent. It's not like he's going to wake up or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you haven't pulled the uh, pulled the tab on a, on, on a four-pack of Ace Strength Lager. Or, tr or try to deny someone using Scottish notes in an English shop. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's funny, that, isn't it? You can, <laughs> Always you can be, summons a Scotsman. You can be on the south coast, as far from Scotland as it's physically possible to be, and if you try and pay with a Scottish £10 note, and their shop goes, oh, what's oh, we don't do that. There's always a Scotsman to go, I think you'll find that's legal. Yeah. You, could be ha you could be uh, doing a private purchase or hanging off the edge of the White Cliffs of Dover with France on the horizon and a Scotsman would appear. <laughs> yeah, and tell you, yes, that £10 is perfectly good for use. So uh, the first uh, video we've got tonight, Jen, is uh -huh. from Knockers Lane Model Railway on a London underground scene. Oh, okay. Honest. Yeah, okay. So uh, there we are. Button Here press. Here we go. Oh, I do, you do love this. This yeah. is really nice. And it's it's a great way you can... Act. Didn't we watch this last week? No, this is a different uh, video. Ah. Knockers Lane. And he's got his actual uh, railway above, but he's got his underground scene. I love this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like nice night time. I'm sure we, we watched this last we, week. We might have sent it in twice then. But I just love the, the idea of having your little... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Underground pit, just to... We did see nice... it, so... Um, oh, I'm... that's the one with the giant nose, yeah, the yeah, big yeah, red yeah. nose one. So, Rudolph the Red I'm gonna Nose press logo. A button. I'm going to press a button. So, um, Thank really, you so, so much, have... Knockers Lane, for sending that in. We did watch that last week, so um, that's Love just it. Zoe being thicky much. No, thick there was... Thick. Are you checking the cameras come up? No. Because you're supposed to check that every time. I'm getting yeah, told Ruben... off now, guys. Yeah, you are. Ruben Ashley says, I do like the underground... No um, and Sarah off. Davis is Scottish notes and nice stuff. The one you got to watch out for is being slipped a Scottish one pound note instead of a, a British five pound note, because there's two reasons for this. One, they've just skinned you for four quid, and two, the Scottish one pound note went out of circulation in the nineties, so they've actually skinned you for five quid. <laughs> yes, I, w I wasn't happy when this happened to me yeah. as I was about to get on a train. Oh wow, Combat Bunny. I haven't heard that name for a long oh, time. How hello are they? there. No, they're not in. Just as mentioned. Oh my goodness. So, um, if somebody sees Combat Bunny, tell them we missed them. Yeah. Um. Clive Cobalt, take care. Thanks for coming along. Have absolutely, a great night. You take care. It's been great to have you come. Oh, and Topsy Toaster says take care as well. So, Valley's fifty six XX says Scottish money smaller. So you don't get as much money for your money. <laughs> <laughs> Although the exchange rate's very favourable because it's one pound to the pound. <laughs> that is that is a good exchange rate. Makes it uh, very easy. Fly my chairman one says, actually, Jenny, I think you'll find. I love the way as well, they've got things like scotch tape. You don't need tape north of the border. We've got our own scotch tape. <laughs> and those eggs you keep going on about. Scotch eggs. <laughs> okay, um, we've had uh... <laughs> we've had a message here from Paul and Michelle Bryan. Uh -huh. It says, "Please, please see attached the co the uh, image copied from Facebook group Alternative British Railway." Gronk it up, gronk, gronk it, it up, up. Gronk, gronk it up. up. Hashtag not a cult for tax and legal purposes. Your marriage may vary. So this, if you oh. bring it up. This uh, apparently is... Scottish one pound notes are still legal tender and were never withdrawn. Oh, so we've been lying. I think to... you'll find that's legal tender. <laughs> it's the mega gronk. Yes, if you want to bring this up. Oh right, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Elated with their success in selling their 060 diesel shunter design to all four frequent nationalisation companies, and certain of their market with the new British Railways, they designed a more powerful shunter on an eight-wheel chassis. 
<laughs> the Mega Gronk. The Mega Gronk. Mega Gronk. Mega Gronk. Mega Gronk. Hashtag not a cult. <laughs> For legal and tax purposes. <laughs> So um, well, that is actually quite cool. Perfect. I like it. Yeah, thank you so much for that. We're going to press the button. I'm getting cramped in my hand. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, John Walters. Oh, nanny, oh, English broth. Oh, Scotch broth. Um, ben Tollett says, "I was at the NEC on Sunday browsing the expensive classic cars on display." Note, anyone going via train, try not to leave it too late, as they get rather full, especially with other events. And yeah, and you've got to remember, um, I think last year there was a big bridal event on, so um, um, there's a lot of people going for that. There's, uh, quite Didn't often... some of the people in the wedding outfits come in and get themselves scanned? No, that was the year that they had a Comic-Con. Um, oh, and they, yeah! So the Comic-Con people found out the model you were doing scans and that. So they were coming in dressed in all their finery to be scanned. That is so cool. Um, Railway Day says, bye everyone all, take care. Look, you take care as well. It's been great having your company. And hopefully we'll see you again next time. Um, and uh, Partick Hill Station says, I was visiting Oban and made a purchase in a store. Just so happened the merchant was English. I gave him a £10 note and he gave me change for a £5 note. That's <laughs> cheeky. <laughs> Uh, Wham Gok says, see you next week, guys. Jenny, Zoe, and Topsy. Bye. Take care. Thanks for coming along. Absolutely. Uh, Nigel Cole says, is this a cult? Um, for legal and tax purposes, the Gronk It Up cult is not a cult. Your mileage may vary. Yeah. Sorry, did I say cult? I said I meant Gronk It Up Club. <laughs> Freud said. <so. laughs> <laughs> Jen, is that the is that the is that have the clowns got a new locomotive? They've got a new trumpet player. I know that they've they've all had their noses tuned to be the same. <laughs> remember, remember, it's a small car. It's not funny when you all get out of a massive limo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. It's a hundred people out of a small car. Yes. Not one person out of a big car. Right. Anyway, meanwhile, back at the ranch, Alsasia Club Layout, Newcastle by the Water on display. This is a video yes. sent so in this is from what Zantec. Uh, Zantec said. Um, I was at the Alsasia Club show on Remembrance Sunday weekend. However, I was not there as a showgoer, but had my stock on the layout. Though, sadly, one of my DMUs has gone walkabout. That is not... Oh, I... I'm mm. really sorry to hear that, man. Absolutely, because you oh think whoever's got that knows it's not there. So why have they got it? Yeah. So I feel very strongly about that, having had stuff pinched at uh, shows as well. Scan Man has uh, very kindly donated $9.99 US. Says greetings from Montana for the Locomotive and Biscuit Fund. So Thank you so Scan much. Scan Man, our Montana correspondent. I, it's I, the scan, man. I've got to try and think up new hand signals because we've got Dominic Z, our kickline correspondent. We've got John JMC, our guru of sound. So now we've got Scan Man, our bit, our Montana it's correspondent. Putting the hat on. And putting the hat on. Yes, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold in Montana this time of year, so we put a hat on. So thank you so so much for your generosity. Uh, so Zantec thinks it may have been uh, packed up accidentally by a club member. Mm, hopefully it will turn up. Let's, let's let's fingers crossed. Right, so here we go. So, so is this engage or is this uh, another gauge? I'm not entirely. It mm. looks like it might be N. Wow! Oh, look at that water. That's real water. Is it? It's Interesting. Wobbling. Maybe it's just the light glinting. That is nice. Yeah. Is that a one oh one? Woo. It's this a, is a huge lot. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot going on here. So, um, I love the over and under stuff in the gradients, the inclines. Yeah. This is nice. And then we've got a big station. One, two, three, four, five, six. At least seven platforms I'm seeing here. Um, oh, that's a good question. John says, could someone put here a link to buy the Alfred locomotive where all the processor proceeds go to his restoration? Ah, um, was it Bodmin, um, the Bodmin Railway? And Zantec says, it was real water. 
Really impressive. It is engaged. That, look at the amount. So do you not? Whoa. How do you stop the water from kind of wicking up into everything? I'd expect you've got some kind of waterproofing spray on it or something hmm. like that. Some kind of small portable roof. Well, you know how uh, shoes can have a waterproofing spray in. Yeah, yeah. Well, given that uh, mm. this isn't real glass, it's a fabric. It might be possible to do the same thing. I don't know. I don't know. And if you use a waterproof um, paint as the base, mm. that might work as well. Oh, the ubiquitous sixty-eight. So, um, very impressive. What this is four, really, five, really six, impressive. Seven, eight platforms. I, I, I've counted eight platforms. This, you've got a camera on a stick, haven't you? You've got one of those camera sticks. <laughs> I, lo I love Jen's uh, turns of phrase. You've got a camera on a stick. It's one of those um, camera sticks. <laughs> yeah. John says, hello. Can so uh, oh, sorry, we've already read that out. Yeah. Yeah, um, all I know is it's, I think somebody uh, back said it was um, Bodmin Railway. Um, I'll uh, have a look. I do like this this upper the line. The water channel is resin. There you are. That's how you do it. Ah. This is amazing. It's huge. No, it's not just huge. It's huge. Nice use of the Metcalf castles there to, to yeah, give a few nice uh, kind of lations well. onto the top of the bridge. Oh, I'm enjoying this. This is the kind of layout where you can go and just... Um, this is so Watch cool. trains go by. That, look, so much going. pipe bridge. Wow, engage and look at the length. This is just amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stuff Sarah you Davis do. says you've got a sticky camera. <laughs> that, oh, well, wait, oh, oh, wait, oh, 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 there we go, uh, yeah. just at the end. Right, there you are. A little glimpse into what I've been watching. Yes, a lot cars, of... Cars, cars, cars. Cars and trumpets. Donny, the, the, the trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> cars and trumpets. There's a few Americans going... Mm. At the camera. <laughs> and there's a few of them nodding along. <laughs> as is usual. Yes. That's the thing. This is how it is. Yeah. Mm. Right. Okay. Bodmin Wenford Railway, Peter Jackson Chittle Heath suggests. So, uh, right. Um, what have we got up next? So this is um, AJ... No, it isn't. Oh, no, that's... <laughs> it's an advert. An advert uh, that hasn't paid They've for changed place the thing here. now to make it harder to skip stuff. Yes. Oh, right, there we go. So, this one is from, uh, sorry, uh, Gary at Rawston, Ro Rawstone Model Railway, sorry. Uh-huh. And he says, uh, great to meet and chat with you all at Getz the other month. Glad to see that you got yeah. the, the TMC Backman G5 you were thinking about getting. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Very tempted to get one himself. Thank you also for the signed wagon and the weird yard sign. They're great. Yay! Absolutely. I'm glad we could uh, do that, and that was in conjunction with West Hill Wagon Works. And we thank them for their generosity in making that project possible. Um, if anybody um, uh, doesn't know already, they were all given away at Getz, um, but we are looking into whether they can be bought. They won't be free next time. They That's will be just can't buyable, and I think they're about two ninety nine, something yeah. like that. We it's, are looking into things. This is one thing. Uh, so, uh, in the meantime, if you get a chance, here's a video of a double header train of two BR9Fs on the NYMR for the Autumn Gala. Okay, let's have a look at this. So, here we go, babe. If you could press the button. Press the, press the button. I'm going to leave his intro on because I love that. That is just so. Right. It makes yeah. me think. Do, 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 yeah, do, that is do. nice. I you like it. You just need a windmill in the background with the sails going round. It would be perfect. <laughs> that is just so cool. Yeah. Right, so we're going to jump on now. Mm. And uh, oh, look at the animation. And that signal box, that incident, so incidentally, Hornby in the Scaledale range did a model of that. I think it's the Northeastern Railway. Um, uh, not signal, but the uh, footbridge got there in the end. Um, so really, really eminently modelable. Yeah. This is a Gothland uh, on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Oh, I'm going to jump it on a little bit because we get a bit more. Oh, oh there choo, we choo, go. You get to see the choo-choo. It has been many years since I last rode Look on Look at all the... that steam coming out the toot snoot. Yeah. Uh, uh, last time I rode on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway, I don't know, I probably nearly <laughs> for about 35 years ago. Um, yeah, uh, uh, you have to be a moderator to post links. Right, it was definitely Bodmin for the part one. Okay, well, while this is running... Yeah, you do a hunty-wunty. Hunty and let's... Uh... 
So we're just um, just finding that now. So we, we are getting a link together. But I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. Although we're slowing down. No! Slowing down! Put your boot in it. So we're finding a link. And we're going to uh, post that in the El Dubrimatron, a.k.a. the chat. Um, but yeah, North Yorkshire Moors Railway, well worth going. I've ridden on it a few times as a child. Was it um, Albert or Alfred? Uh, both. Uh, well, one of them. I don't know. I'm sure they'll know. Alfred. Yeah, I'm sure they'll know. Just, I've got, it's a good cause. Buy, buy your buy your. There you go. There we go. Um, so there we go. Kind of looks real, says Nigel Cole. Oi, I've got one in here doing that trick. Just, we're mm. going to jump on now. Oh, that is. Uh, oh, that's oh, always good. Oh, there we go. When it there goes around go. the corner, now we can you get see some, it. some quality, quality angle of the dangle. That Double nice. headed as well. Yeah. Really impressive, actually. This is nice. Oh, the nine Fs. Look at the animation on those trees to make it look like the wind's blowing. It's so, so good. Would you put a sock in it? No, because I've, I've been wearing them. Unfortunately, I've only got my shorty pokey stick, so... Stop taking Topsy's hand off him. Oh. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. Oh. There we go. Right, thank you, Topsy. <laughs> yeah, everyone's going, it's not a toot snoot. That's the whistle. <laughs> <sighs> All right, it can be a smoke shoot, a, sh a, sm a, a smoke toot. As long as it's not a poop shoot. <laughs> no, that, that's uh, that's like the ash pile. <laughs> yeah, all the ash comes out there. Yes, Iron Horse Railways, looking at you. <laughs> Dongit says it's clearly a chuff socket. <laughs> a chuff socket, I like that, the chuff socket. <laughs> <laughs> the chuff cylinder. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the Monday Club, home of made-up BS terms for everything you can think of. <laughs> and finally, let's have a look at another bit. Oh, you get a good look at them there. Whoa, that, I mean, that whoa, it, it's almost whoa. like um, looking at models. It's really weird, actually. This is so smooth, and uh, I do love this. Now, was the North Yorkshire Moors Railway originally double track or not? Because the um, track bed there was quite wide. If we've got a, if we've got a chuff socket mm. on a rear, on a local, would that mean just uh, shunting around a bit would be like a chuff shuffle? Mm. Mac Navi says it's impossible to get to this railway by public transport, as the bus from York is too full and only runs once an hour. Is it possible to get at it from the other end? There is a railway line where the trains run down to Whitby, and then you could find that. I'm sure that there's um, there's a station where you can change trains for the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. But I, I do take your point. It is quite out in the wilds, lovely scenery, um, but it, it it is quite an out in the in the wilds of uh, North Yorkshire kind of place. It's quite a Big thing. Right, we're going to move on. Thank you very much for sending this in. Absolutely. So it's a great railway. If you do get a chance to go there, then do. I'm going to press the button. There is yep. a full video. So do please um, check that out. After the stream, plural, because Game Hammer Classic Gaming will be on a hunt for the retro. And it's Anything Goes Request it's Night. It's the Anything Goes Request Night tonight. Can I request something? You can request something. Yeah, and can I request that you stop calling real things models and going, Oh, look at that tree, the animation's great. You... Yeah, anyway. Yes. On, on my show, I will not call real things models, because that's how the requests work. <laughs> so, um, Jennifer Horton says, yes, it was once double track, and Peachy TT120 says, Jenny, the satellite Google view shows the double clearly. Because, oh, of course, it did originally go all the way through to, um, I want to say Masson, but um, I can't remember. Um, um, they, uh, from Pickering, the line did continue south. 
um, but wasn't reopened as part of the preserved railway. So it was originally a through route, not a, a branch line. So what have we got next? Uh, from Richard Swiderski says, I uh, hope we're both well, sent a video of the Alsig uh, model railway exhibition at Crewe. So, well worth going to and some great lads. Oh, my, thank you so oh. much. Daniel Craftsman has very, very kindly donated $13.99 Canadian and says, when the cult is taken down, keep my name out of it. <laughs> I, said, I was never here. Yeah, I'm never here, but thank you so much. Thank you so much, but you were never here. <laughs> so, thank From you so much. From to Pickering, says Harry Smedgwick. Right. Um, so. And interesting, um, I did see something. Yeah, Bez... Be Basil Gates says LBC is now promoting government ads against using wood burning stoves. What will be the future of preserved lines at canal boats? Mm. It's like they, they cotton on to like people are burning waste timber um, and all of a sudden it's like we can't tax this. <laughs> so I, I don't know. It's um, it does feel like um, a retrograde step because let's face it. Yeah, because it was... it There's was hardly anyone that does it. Well, there is more and more. Yeah, but, but you've got to burn the right stuff. There's 67 million people in this country. How yeah. many of them have got stuff? And the problem is that, you know, what's the alternative? You use gas. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That is so good. Oh, oh Jen, I need one. And I, I, I need some. That is so cool. Oh, I do like this. That is so cool. That is a nice tight curve. I love trams, they're so fun. Yeah, trams are fun. There's a lot going on. Absolutely. Moulton, <laughs> Leslie Gilpin Railways. I, I this was layout thinking... is called Hopeless. <laughs> okay. I like this, this is nice. Yeah. And McNabby says, there are no trains southwards from Whitby. You've got to go by bus over York. But is it, oh, what, is it Gro... Gr Grossmont, where the um, the junction with that. the main line is. I'm just going to jump this little back a little bit. <coughs> Look at that. The, <coughs> the deep cut with all the stuff behind. Yeah, it's lovely. That is really interesting. Mm. And then when it goes off of there, you can see all the way through. That is so interesting. Yeah, dramatic, dramatic countryside. Yeah. Oh, then there's a sneeze brewing. I need that to just stare like at the castle. light for a bit. No, nope, it's not I'm just going to jump on. Oh. This one looks so good. This is and is this one that we've shown before? Because I it's you're thinking of one that's mm. very similar. Yeah, I don't think we've seen. It's a this bit one like before. the biscuit one, but no, this is yeah. nice. I like the bridges. Yeah, and the railway in the tight cutting. Yeah. So this is nice. Um, o gauge by the look of it. Very nice. Um, uh, yeah, it's definitely O gauge. I've got that Lobitos uh, tanker. Um. Basil Gate says, how much imported coal is not coming from Poland, but from Russia? Yeah, and, or yeah. China. And like, when you consider that Welsh anthracite is one of the cleanest burning coals there is, why would we import oh, dirty coal Oh, from look abroad? at this. It's in a barrel. Ooh. I like, oh, is that, a, it's a, no, it's a packet. Oh, that is nice. It's all these, it's moving barrels around. It's in, the it's model a is in layer. a barrel. Yeah, it's a brewery layout that is in a so barrel. Cool. So it's that end oh, gauge. These is, are uh, wonderful. That is nice. <laughs> I'll see you putting your model railway oh, in a suitcase. We saw and this. Raise the... you putting it in a yeah, beer barrel. We <laughs> we saw this at the um, L and Y D C C show. I say we. I did. I did it on my own. Jen, what kind of locomotive is that? Um, these are, I think these are Irish, um, three foot gauge, three foot six gauge. It's like someone's oh, just Iron stuck Horse a bus Railway on the... says, that's a barrel of laughs. <laughs> oh, it's uh, like someone just on. stuck uh, rails on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. I think it's one of the Irish, um, three foot six gauge lines. Oh. Uh, um, but the, County Donegal, three foot gauge, I was close. That is so cool. And uh, Richard Swiderski said it was OO. Um, the, the barrel thing was OO. Um, these are really nice. Yeah. That is. Uh, I, I just. I, I love these ba photographic back scenes. 
What class of um, DMU is that uh, with the blue caps? Oh, it's an electric one. That's an interesting waterfall at the back as well. It is, rather. Unless it's supposed to be like a spillway off a dam. Could be. Oh. The water's so well done. That's a 86. All well, those rolls of uh, steel as well. That is just so cool. Oh, Jen, look at that. The sense of depth. I do, yeah. Oh. And that's, that's what I would have loved to have done up here. And actually with hindsight, I'm gutted that I didn't think to put in a big viaduct. Hmm. And actually have the scenery just go... Shroom. Straight but, down the floor. Yeah, but I couldn't yeah. have put the under bit. Because there's, there's another layer yes. underneath this. That's yeah, the only could, thing. You couldn't have done it. Well, I could have done... Yeah, but... It, it, it's it's like a, tra a trade thing. So, you know, it's like, do you want this or do you want that? You can't have yeah. both. Oh, it was a class 85. I, I had a good guess this and I got it This is lovely as well. Oh, I could just sit and watch these all night. Absolutely. This is lovely. Look at that. It's, it's, got, a, it's got a hot dog sausage on top of that. Uh, <laughs> wagon. No, like, that, that's his uh, afternoon donut, but someone's already had a bite. But it's like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like two thirds of a Cumberland ring. Oh, these are lovely. I love these industrial layouts where it's like loads of, of uh, dereliction and grime and clutter. Really, really nice. So we've got some tubes there on a pair of single bolster wagons. That is um, actually quite smart. And then we've got uh, an Oxford Rail <laughs> J Janus, Janus Shunter, and then a Sentinel in the background whizzing away. It's going peep, peep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to carry yeah. anything. Bye. Race, right. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move on for one more. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. We need to see this when it goes up to the right bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So, um, lovely track work, actually. I, I, I always, my eye is always drawn to some of the ballasting. Really, really nice. Now, this. That is amazing. We've got this sort of, like, spindly bridge across the harbour. Um, really interesting uh, design there. Yeah straight into a station and um i'm sure all the, a, a lot of these have got the same vaccine <laughs> um but no that is really really nice then um delinicoid um that looks like a class 23 i could be wrong but um it's a, it has that abbreviated look about it i'm gonna i'm gonna say that's a class 23 Hot dog pilot Andy says you called. <laughs> Hello. See what you did there. <coughs> so this wonderful. is this Absolutely is really wonderful. really lovely. I so this is a big one. We have put the link in, so do go and have a look at mm. the full thing. But wow, Valley's fifty six XX has straight tank forty four XX. Uh, I think that was the steam loco before, and that's actually one that Rapido. I think it's Rapido have announced. Oh, I do love a class O three. Always love a class O three. We'll be here all night. Oh look, you... look, I've got the same same signal box. We'll but be here I'm all night if you don't the press the button. button. So oh, press the button. <laughs> that was lovely. Thank you so, so well, how much. It, let me neck, it's half past already. Yeah, thank you so much so, for sending that uh, image. Check that, the camera... that was great. Camera. Yes. Lovely. Lovely Jubilee. Lovely jo Great smash and super. Uh. Oh. Um We've had a call from the DeLorean. Oh, Mark Wilson has been travelling through time, taking some time out from waxing the DeLorean to uh, firing up Mr. Fusion on some banana peel and leftover beer. Um, I, I think it has to be a particular type of beer, some kind of Bud Light, I think, just to get the, the, right, um, uh, the right smoothness to the Mr. Fusion. Um, but where has he been? Swindon Works 1962. The myth of a BR Black Western has been created for a bit of fun. Um, so, um, if you want to bring bring up the uh, pictures that he took whilst on his DeLorean trip. And again, you should have messed with Hornby's head by sticking a couple of Hornby models in there and sending this in for their competition. I just um, think it's there's still time. Amazing. The Bankman competition. Go on, go on. I dare you. I dare you. Fill it up with Bankman Gronks and uh, enter their competition. <laughs> and then I can go, look, look, somebody I know won. But these are just incredible. The lighting, the everything. Yeah. Sarah Davis says leftover beer. What's that? 
Oh, these are just wonderful. It looks real. It genuinely looks we real. Yeah, it's just incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. One of these days, I need to... I need, can Even you the t- marks on the can floor. I, can I take a trip in the DeLorean and see this? Yeah. Okay. Oh. This is nice. So are we getting to the BR Black uh, Western? In a minute. See, they're putting the undercoat the, on in the background. The lights, the colouring on Look the at camera that, the, and everything. The light and the shadow is perfect. And the colouring on the camera. It's, just like, it's got that slightly old-timey look. Yeah, 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 like uh, Kodachrome. And yeah. you notice that the lighting is different whether it's inside or outside. <laughs> yeah, DCC Locomotive James says, Mark Wilson, Jenny wants you to win so she can finally feel like she's won something. <laughs> yeah, and then because I know you, it'll be like, oh, there we go, look, see, we won. Team Monday Club won something. <laughs> but there you are. It's like, it's like so that, is that undercoat then? No, that's the final coat. Oh... What's an undercoat? <laughs> so, um, actually, I think it suits it, you know. Um, There's nothing wrong with that. It looks perfectly fine. And, and Mark, um, just as a suggestion, try First Great Western. Um, because um, I did see somebody do it once on an old Lima model. But um, First Great Western actually does suit a Class 52. But this is just amazing work. It just looks great. It really mm. does. These are so, fantastic. So, Flymo Chairman wants, uh, says, uh, Model Railway YouTube channel moderator nominations 2023 closes on the 30th of November. There is a link there, and we respectfully suggest that you vote for Flymo Chairman 1 um, for all of his stellar moderation work here in the Monday Club. The attention, yet, yeah. Three B Rail, you're absolutely right. The attention to detail is stunning. Absolutely, this, it it looks like it could just work. You could go in there and turn things on. And Valley's fifty six XX says my mate, my mate did a Western in Rail Freight General Livery. Um, what? Uh, I when I pressed the button, I was looking over at the chat. So out of the corner of my eye, I thought these were someone's legs, and he was working underneath the thing. So. <laughs> You are one strange <laughs> monkey. So thank you so much. New Junction says bias. <laughs> Fix. <laughs> Little bit. We love you too, New Junction. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Raymond Legg says, "Who colorized these old photos as well?" Anyway, New yeah. Junction, what are you saying about? He took you for a spin in his DeLorean. You got to photograph some of this yeah. stuff, and all these people at Swindon Works and Paddington the like. What's with the life preserver? <laughs> <laughs> Tab clear. You haven't even ordered anything. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending those in, Mark. That was Absolutely. great. Absolutely. Always great to have uh, more Absolutely. from the DeLorean. Super. Have you checked the camera? I'm trying to find the mouse so I can press the buttons. There we go. Yeah. Press the button. I don't know where this accent's come from or where it's going, but it, it, it's there. Mmm. Also, Norman Price, what are you doing with all of those lighters? So we've got oh, Iron Horse Railways has has um, has um, uh, given us uh, something of his presence in the room. So um, we have a message from uh, yeah. Iron Horse Railways, who spoke to me earlier. She said she would it would be okay to send you these photos to announce on the stream. Uh, my new project. His new project, not Jen's. Yeah, oh, yeah. So this is Iron Horse Railway's new project. He's doing a Mega Gronk. Oh, class thirteen. This is the kit from um, I think it's N- N- Nayu Models. The kit is meant for a Hornby class 08, but of course he's got the Backman one. But make it fit. Um, so um, video will be coming in a few weeks, and we'll show the building process. And the modifications required to make the kit fit the Backman model. My class 13 will be a theoretical fourth class member, 13004, and will carry the DB Schenker livery. So let's have a look. So I'm going to bring that up. Um, and this is from the webs. Oh no, this is thumbnail. So you can see that it replaces the cab on mm. one of the Gronks, uh, plus the buffer beams on both of the Gronks. 
and I think it gives you um, the draw bar to go between the two. So obviously you need to um, add the class 13s for uh, ballasting. They needed the extra weight to ballast them. So they had uh, buffer beams, which for want of uh, for want of a better description, are made out of um, armor plate to get the low down weight. Um, and there we go. So that's presumably awaiting the front half of the mega grunk to be painted Megacron. in DB red, and then it will get renumbered as thirteen zero zero four. Nice. Don't forget, you've got to do the top data plate as well. Because it'll need a class 13 tops data plate, not a class 08. <laughs> That's a really interesting project. I love the uh, weathering as well. It's very Absolutely. nice. Absolutely. So, Mega Gronk. Mega Gronk. Mega Gronk. Mega Gronk. Hashtag not a cult for legal and tax purposes. The uh, Gronky Dub Club, Club is not a cult for legal and tax purposes. We must state this. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> right, so essency uh, buttonsies. Um, turning it to my dad, he thinks he can speak German just by putting Z on the end. Of oh, I'm I'm not speaking German. I'm just being annoying. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, so really interesting project. Um, so who still to we, go. Oh, we always have a lot still to go. So this is from uh, James Spinks, uh, and this is a YouTube video from their channel. Uh, for your ladies' delectations. I do like that word. Write it down. We should use I, it more I, often in I everyday conversation. I always love when people say stuff like that because it makes us feel like <laughs> Rod Sterling's reading it out from the Twilight Zone. Yes. Presented for your, for your consideration. It just makes me think like I'm sort of sat here in a corset and bustle and drinking tea with yeah. a parasol. Oh, 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 jolly good oh, show oh, of Vicar. Oh, oh, oh. He also says, Gandalf, I didn't forget you either. Thank you very much. <laughs> So oh, here we go. Press, and, the, and the host press the button. Post. Press the button. What are you doing press to me? Press the button. So here we go. This is model railways for Jennifer Kirk. Oh, I like that one. That's different. That is. <coughs> and that's um, class fifteen. Oh, on West Highland. Like, I love those very backgrounds. dramatic scenery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Gandalf, get out of the biscuit tin. <laughs> I, love it. I love the way it says insert text here underneath. <laughs> oh, oh, a crusty 9F. Oh, these are lovely. That is interesting. Uh, the way he's got the undulations around the. the undulations? Water. Now, there's Look at all those cows. Way. Some of those cows were trying to get into that into that house. Ale Fred Larkin, big hello to you. Great to see you. There's a degree of lateness implied. The Monday Clubber is never late, Total Wagons. Mm. Nor is he early. I arrive, he arrives precisely when he means to. Oh, I love the viaduct. Um, PTTT120. Uh, they said, no one voted for me. I'm not an MP. <laughs> Only problem is I've never... Had relations with a pig. <laughs> yes, that turned out to be untrue. It was a, a scurrilous lie. Scurrilous. There's another but, word uh, we should use more. People keep bringing often. it up anyway because it's actually freaking hilarious. It's like someone actually wrote that in a book. Thought people would believe it. <laughs> nice cross section of uh, locomotives here, actually. <laughs> Some great roads. These are wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I'm loving the layout. The, oh, we always love a grid. The the modelling and the and uh, J15. Look at that. Well, I was going to say wall. And that's the class Cliff. 101 that's observation car that was on the West Highland <laughs> line. Yeah, it's really smart. Ivor 262 tank. Uh, that looks like uh, an 8F. Stand your 8F. Um, that I'm going to say is a brick. Tanya, thirty-seven, of course. <laughs> What's going on in the chat? Here? Ninety-two. What? What have we missed? I've got a new keyboard for my laptop after a beer spillage during Monday Club two weeks ago. <laughs> to which Daniel Crossman said, "Well, if you're careless enough to drive your bus while typing, you've got no right to cry <laughs> over spilling your beer." <laughs> it's like, um, how many <laughs> things are wrong in that statement? Like, no, no. 
Oh, that was fun. Dean Wollaston says good night, ladies. Good night to you. Take too. care. Thanks for coming along. Absolutely, always great oh. to see you. Oh, I do love a scar, Loey, and a Reneus as well. Oh, it's it's basically a seat with an engine. I oh. like it. Oh. Feel the G. Motorized sulfur. I want one. <laughs> the, the um, well, they've got the um, Talithlin and oh, Dolgot beep, beep. coming soon. That was so, cool. Oh, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Sorry, what? people can't see that at the moment. I've, if you check... Alcatraz SKP sends letter to the FBI fifty years later saying, "Dear FBI, I escaped." It's like, yeah, okay. What? <laughs> Would you check the camera? I, I'm trying to find the mouse. There it is. That right, that was just like right. okay. that 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 was Chobberton, quite a thing. Chobberton yes. Junction says, "Time to go." Bye, everyone. You take care. It's been great having your company. And of course, anybody who's not yet tickled the like button. Why not? <laughs> Please check with the like button and share it to social media. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed and rung the bell, please do. And then binge watch watch all my videos. Okay. <laughs> and uh, tell all your friends about them. Anything else? Oh, buy some merchandise. <laughs> anything else? While well, you're asking for order the Monday in the world. Club wagon, check us out over on Patreon as well. And um, and always look both ways before you cross the road. Thank you. Um, so, good night, Angel of Crew, as well. Um, it's been great having you in tonight. You take care of yourself. And thanks for coming along. Catch you next care. time. Okay, uh, Atreus Lux says, I've got a question for anyone in the know about HOE models, if possible. And ask away. Ask away. Someone might know. Mm. That's what the Monday Club's all about. We're all here to share knowledge and learn from each other. So, yeah, go ahead. So, um, next... Uh, video, so we've got um, this evening Zoe. So what about me? Why, why, why would you need to be got out Link the for the Monday Club stream filmed at the 2023 Spalding Model Railway Exhibition. Purgatory Peak is an ON30 ga uh, gate layout which aims to recreate the atmosphere and scenery of a railroad in the southwest USA during the 1930s and 40s. Colour me intrigued. Um, so we're just waiting for the advert. For the inevitable. Uh, thank uh, you, Flymo Chairman One. That is the link to the Monday Club wagon. Okay, this looks amazing. Um, that lighting alone is worth looking at. Mm. Oh, that is a wonderful looking look. Oh, I love the American style. Yeah. It is so chunky and powerful. Incidentally, um, whilst I remember about shows. We've got the Rattery Show in Devon coming up, um, and uh, don't forget to check it out. You can find more out at tramfabrique.co.uk backslash little train show. That's all one word, uh, all one word even. And the monkey and I will be there. I think that was a forward slash. So, okay, if the backslash doesn't work, use a forward slash. Um, but we will be here. So this is on the uh, 2nd of December in Rattery, which is near Totnes in Devon. So be there or be not triangular shaped. Yes, be there or Gandalf will be unhappy. Absolutely. Maybe we'll bring Topsy Toaster. Topsy does like to go out and about. He calls shotgun, so you'll have to sit on the roof. Okay. Um, Hot Dog Pilot Andy says, got to bail night, folks. You take care again, like we say. Always great to have your company. This is a phenomenal layout. I love those cliffs. The sense of scale is oh, just so Oh, absolutely. Ruben Ashwell says, do like seeing American stuff. And yeah. CP Model Railway says, nice shay on the upper line. Yeah, this is lovely. Yeah, I'm loving it. I like this... the trees as well. Manchester and... has their Christmas show on the 9th and 10th of December. Okay. Um, um, I've never been to the Manchester show when it opens for Christmas, but uh, I do like going to the Christmas festival uh, uh, thing. A Atreus Lux says, thank you very much. I'm looking for the Egerbahn Feuriger Elias coaches, but of the few I can find on eBay Germany, they're on the expensive side. Are there any more readily available alternatives, mm. please? Um, I would suggest checking out the website of Gage Master. They do stock a lot of overseas stuff. And also keep an eye, there's no guarantee it will turn up, but do keep an eye on the um, Clark Railworks site because they do get a lot of second-hand continental stuff come up. And it's just simply a case of keep looking. Oh, it's I a Climax. Um, that's it. the type of locomotive. 
I um, love all these wooden trestle bridges and the and the cribbing and their little waterfall in the background. Yeah, it's lovely. We've been asked, can we sing a happy birthday to William? Uh, where, 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 did, where did that go? I don't know where he's... There it is. So... Uh, just says William, can you sing a happy birthday to me, please? Happy birthday, birthday to you, squash tomatoes and stew. Bread and butter in the gutter. Happy birthday to you. So happy birthday to you, William. And take care and have a great day. This is really, really nice. I'm going to jump on a little bit because it's quite long. Oh. Okay, there's more to it. Look oh, at... look at that. I love that oh, trestle. That is so good. Such dramatic scenery. Look at the height oh. on this. I love this kind this of so layout. Good. Ben Tullett says, I want a KR model, Shay, when it comes out, as it's such an interesting type of locomotive. The layout makes me want one even more. Yes. And Jennifer Horton says, um, Eggerbahn is highly collectible. Mini trains at Gage Master has reissued similar models. Right. I love the, the, the detail on the buildings with the wood and everything. It's so good. So... Oh. I like the trees. I like the Very wood. sparse, but that's what you yeah. get in these sort of Durango and Look. Silvertown type Look places. Look at the scale. It it's dramatic. Up up like, oh. I love it. I do love oh. it. And I must admit, um, oh, Will Tucker says for HOE, check out what Tim at Arcadia Models. Big up Tim and everybody at the Arcadia Posse. Um, so bought some new Tillig HOE coaches from him a few months back. A really great, great choice there of stuff. I still and, think about um, it every now and again. Those uh, Czech uh, railway ones we saw in here in Arcadia, they were so different. Mm. Really nice. And SHGP Media says, I spent a few hours with this layout of the weekend. Loved every minute. They're all mm. sound fitted as well. Oh, my and goodness. And Caroline Rogers says, Night all. Again, you take care Thanks for coming yourself. along. Take care. Happy modelling. I'll catch you next time. Yeah, this is lovely. This is so nice. Okay, we're going to skip on. I think it's the, yeah, it's the same one all the way through. But, but it's this lovely. is lovely. So Aww. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna press the button as the climax um, heads off towards its climax. So um, just check that the camera has come up. <laughs> I okay. just realised that the way they were going past it, my brain's gone. The red car and the blue car had a race. <laughs> hey. That Have you noticed wonderful. the cameras are working so better since you changed how the streaming thing did its streaming? <laughs> Have you noticed that? No. Oh, okay. Well, just, Don't jinx it. Just making conversation. So, um, let me just... Ooh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm checking something. So talk to the nice people. Is it people. your reason to live? I, I, careful. So I was just checking. So, um, what have we got up next? Class? Ah, oh, no, wait. we can't. Why? Because uh, this one was sent in, and I know it's not uh, by the person who sent it in. Right, okay. So, uh, the next one up is from Edward Elric. Um, it says, this is a layout I help out on the Tollworth Model Railway Exhibition on the 11th of November. It's one, it's one photo. Let's have a look. So, ooh, ooh, US outline. Another American one, the Rio Grande again. So it's an FA and an FB unit for very, very a nice. Rio Grande. And um, again, the colours, so different. It's like something that, um, mm. oh, I'm terrible with names. What's his name from What's Neat This Week? Ken Patterson. Ken Patterson. Big yeah. up Ken Patterson and everybody on the What's Neat This Week posse. Always great to see you. And don't forget, check out What's Neat This Week every uh, every week that it goes up. And uh, it, it was one thing that he said that stuck with me. When he's having to make models, uh, dioramas for models, when he's photo doing photography, the colours, because different parts of America have different colours, mm. uh, you have to be very, uh, very on the ball. And it's like this, this... You look at this, and that's America. Yeah, because it's a continent. Um, so yeah, it's. I mean, that's why I. You know, I understand why Americans love their country. It's got everything. Yes. Um, you know, it. It's basically every climate and biome you can think of. They've got it there. Yeah. And I, you know, that, <laughs> that would impress the heck out of me if I lived there. You know. Yeah. The fact that. You could drive 3,000 miles and still be in the same country. Same country, yeah. But the scenery would go from sort of like 
um, wet, the wetness of Washington State with all the greenery, um, you could 3,000 miles later be somewhere like... Um, Florida getting eaten by a dinosaur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you know, or you could be um, down the um, Albuquerque, or somewhere like that, in the desert. Um, so it's just really, really lovely. Yeah. Um, thank you for sending that in. That is a lovely image. It's got us talking about stuff again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've got time for. Maybe so that was from. Uh, oh, let me just check. That was from Edward Elric. Thank you very much, Edward. We've got time for one more. Pick one. Uh, Sue Webster, I saw Sue Webster and it says, Hi Jenny and Zoe, this is a little video we made for the story so far for Pudham Junction. Progress has been slow and steady, but progress nonetheless. We hope you enjoy it. So um, I'm going to bring this one up. So I'm going to quickly just... Uh, Mud End Main Line, Pudham jump. Junction, Snecky Central. Here we go, beep beep. Okay, so how it all began. And this is always great to see how things come together. Oh, it's the one with the helix. I do love helices. Uh, uh, Knockers yeah. Lane oh says, goodness. I'll be off to test the timing on my new dead rail conversion. Western Class 52, Legionnaire. Night all, take care. Night They've got and... carousels as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Nick at Bletchton High Level says, good word that. Moist. <laughs> Almost as bad as pre-loved. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the little planes as well. To the train. Oh, I've got, got I've got one of them as well. Oh, look at that. It's a triple track helix. I, yeah. I really do like this. This is so cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is lovely. Thank you so much for this. Oh. A lot of track down there. There's a, yeah. yeah. There's a lot going on. This is going to be very interesting. Hmm. Is this Endgame? Oh my goodness. Hmm. Gets a bit complex there. Oh, my word. There's a lot going on there, yeah. <coughs> Four <coughs> tracks on the helix. <coughs> Four tracks, no waiting. Four tracks on a helix. <laughs> so there we go. thank you so much for sharing that with us. I, I think we, we may have enough time for... Can we squeeze in one more? We can squeeze in one more. So what about Simon Poole? Um, okay, grab that one. Oh, they're just photos. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Yes. Oh mm. my goodness. Okay. So here we are. Evening, Topsy, Jenny and Zoe. <laughs> we are on... Yeah, we are. <laughs> I had a horrible feeling I just showing everyone's uh, email addresses there. Uh, went to the Al Sega Railway Association's Model Railway Exhibition at Crewe. And these photos were of the Dovington Camp layout, which even has a TARDIS... And Dale's also a 3mm 3D model of a Gronk. Gronk it up! Gronk it up! Gronk it up! Hashtag not a cult for legal and tax <laughs> purposes. So here we go. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. There we go. Pressing the button. Press the That's... button. That reminds me actually of um, On Parade in the um, the square at BRNC Tartman. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh. Hey, look at them. They're down the front row with the main platoon. They're shooting the people in front. Must be the officers. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that that is they... great, the way they've done that. There's so much going on there. They've even got the corns to keep people away. Oh, yeah. Got to have the got corns. Got to have a corn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. There's so much going on here. This is nice. These are, are we real. Looking out for the... Where's, the... Where's the doctor? Just wait. Oh look at the little train on the low on the wall well. Oh, oh. man. It's tiny, so ah, when I grow up I'm gonna be a real local. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Move left. Move left. I'm just oh I thought it was dual gauge, it's not, but that's impressive. That is so cool. Yeah, yeah. Next slide please. Oh lovely jubbly. Oh, this is wonderful. I love that that kind of utilitarian wartime stroke nineteen fifty style architecture where you've yeah. got the concrete frame infilled with like cheaply done bricks. It, it's a, it's very much a look. And it, it does work. It's quite definitely well. a look. It's definitely mm. a stamp. And then we've got the coos. There we go. The coos that goes and a moose. pillbox. Mm. Yeah. But I have a pillbox. There's one not far from here, actually, oh, and uh, the nickname for it was the Bunker. What's That's going on river. here? It's a very brown river. No, here. 
It's time, time team. Time team's in. Oh, my sister works on got, time team. It's even got the dude with the hat. Whoa, Tony, look at that. There's three stones. It's ritualistic temple. And because it's time team, the time team is here. Oh, I like that. <laughs> but um, see if it's time to... Oh, oh that is so good. <laughs> I like that. But no, a time team, basically, there's got to be... Um, You've got to have the Time Team Land Rover Discovery. Um, oh, and this goodness. is um, a three millimetre, did they say? That's beautiful. That's nice, coming together. I'm, I'm betting it's going to work as well. That was wonderful. Thank you so much for sending that in. Absolutely. So, oh. thank you so much for that. I'm going to press the button. And uh, we... Thank you so much for sending that in, man. So that was great. Jen, before we end, do yes. we have a sponsor? Yes, we do. Our sponsor today for the Monday Club is War World Hello, Scenics. Hello, and welcome to WW Scenics. We are an award-winning specialist and manufacturer for miniature scenery modelling. We are proud to have produced one of the best-selling Prograss micro applicators, and we've refined our quality products and systems with both beginners and expert modellers in mind. We supply and manufacture everything you may need from static glass applicators, static glass tufts, handcrafted MDF and hand poured resin products, all designed and curated in house with you, the modeler in mind. You can find us at www.cmix.com or in store at Unit 6, Buford Court, Plasmal, Swansea. So anyway, we're rounding off here now, but don't worry, your live stream entertainment will not end here. We're going to have a little bit of trains running and then you'll be automatically offered the chance to move straight on over to the monkey stream on Game Hammer Classic Gaming, where live streaming entertainment continues tonight with the Anything Goes All Request Monday stream. You're kicking off with a BMX. One. BMX Simulator. BMX Simulator. So basically, you sit there and you have to wear a thing that makes you look stupid and then they just sandpaper your knees down and your elbows and, and your chin. <laughs> no. And that's my memory. No, that's, that's Skateboard Simulator. <laughs> no, it was BMX. I'm sorry, but I was not one of nature's in that case, BMXs. You, in that case, what you should have done is not press the front wheel brake. Press the rear wheel brake. Uh, well, anyway. Right, so anyway, <laughs> thank you all so much for coming. Don't forget, the Monday Club Wagon is still available to order. We've got a link down below. You can also head on over to Patreon if you wish to help support the channel. And we have multiple tiers of rewards to suit everyone. And a big, big thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. And also everybody who supports us through membership of the channel. And that too is available at any time to join and we've got some great videos coming up this week. We've got a full and up-to-date uh, review of the Acura Scale Manor coming on Wednesday. It's the full sound version and the most desirable livery as well. I put it through its paces and see whether this all-new Manor from Acura Scale lives up to all the expectations. It's been over a year since the competition came out with their own Manor. And let's see how the Acura scale one matches up. And on Friday, we have got some track cleaning wagons. And we're going to be putting them through their paces and seeing how well they clean the track. These are available in the TMC autumn sale at a reduced price. And we see whether they are worth the money. But until next time, this is me, Jenny Coates, and you take great care of yourself. And from me, the host with the toast, Topsy Toaster, Teddy, and... Um, that hanger on over there. The it? cupboard <laughs> monkey. You forgot where I was called there. No, I didn't. I just didn't didn't feel like acknowledging you. Anyway, until next time, you guys take great care of yourself. Happy Bye. modeling. Bye for now. The train now departing is at 2103 service to Bolton Trinity Road, stopping <laughs> at Grove Street Yard, Tatis Newark, Minneth Tatis, Eindhoven. That unnamed layout, Pittsburgh somehow, but farting, and on to Bolton Trinity Road. That's the 2103 service to Bolton Trinity Road. If you go up to the loft today, 
not sure of a big surprise. If you go up to the loft today, you'll never believe your eyes. For every train there ever was has gathered there together because today's the day that Jenny does the Monday Club. Monday Good night. Day Club for everyone. So grab a come and grab some fun and have have um, a ton of fun. Yum yum. I don't know. I don't Bye. know. Is it? Can you can you tell that we didn't rehearse that? Yes. Topsy says, shut up, you can't sing. I don't know whether he's referring to me or you. Is that a request? <laughs> he says he's referring to both of us, so there we go. Mm. Thank you, Topsy. <coughs> Here, pass me that mouse, would you? Squeak. Squeak, squeak. Yes. And again, another reminder, thank you so much, Tim Krinsky, for your generosity. Thank you so for, much. For um, a very kindly sending in the mystery parcel, including Engage Gronk, Engage Class 20, I'm and so the A4 to Kingfisher that you see whizzing around on the layout. Take care and good night. Right, Jen, just because it says the uh, end broadcast on there, you don't actually have to press it there. You can just uh, press the so stop. So just press end broadcast if you do that it will end the broadcast yes but it will end it immediately when you press it so i need to press stop streaming first okay yes yes so that should make it easier for you because it's they're all in one place now all right take care and have a great night i'm off to hammer some games Don't you feel like there should be another tone, just a bit lower, so like... That's what it should say. Yes, New Junction, I know it's still on. We were just discussing aloud how we stop it. Thingy fell off the shelf. You've heard of Elf on a Shelf? This is Topsy Toaster falling on my head.
Ooh, that looks a bit weird. Almost like the Monkey of Madness has knocked it. Let me have as well. There we go. Yes, Richard Wiswodersky, uh, Topsy is just fine. He um, used my head as a uh, cushioning device to stop himself from getting injured in the fall. New Junction asks, I wonder how many miles these locos do? I'm not entirely sure, but um, certainly this is a good running test for not just locomotives, but rolling stock being left running up here for week after week. So any manufacturers wants to uh, stress test any locomotives, then uh, put them in a padded envelope and send them on in.
So, good night everyone. Don't forget that your live streaming entertainment will continue over on the Game Hammer Classic Gaming channel. And uh, we'll be back on Wednesday with that full review on the Acura Scale Manor. We also have a Friday video coming with a review on track cleaning wagons that are available in the TMC, the model shop, autumn sale at a reduced knockdown price. But from me and everybody here at Weir Yard tonight, take great care of yourself, happy modelling, and until next time, bye for now.